Cooper Tire is a global tire industry that has manufacturing facilities on three continents. The company joined the ranks of Fortune 500 companies in 1983 as one of the largest industrial companies in the United States. Cooper Tire employs more than 10,400 people around the world. The employees at the lowest entry level, especially tire loaders, are inside a manufacturing workplace that is highly detrimental. For the tire loading process, a forklift transports a skid of tires to the loader. The skid typically holds 20 tires, five on each side, depending on the size of the tire. The loader uses a manual pallet jack converter to lift the skids. Once the skid is pulled to the entry of the trailer, the loader removes the saran wrap around the skid, scans the barcode, then writes down the skid number on the loader writing stand. The skid is then pulled into it, the trailer. The loader then throws the tires individually into the trailer, stacking them in the most optimal way to maximize the available space. Once there are no tires left on the skid, the loader pulls the empty skid outside of the trailer for the forklift operators to remove the empty skid from the workspace. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health established a load constant of 51 pounds per load but at this manufacturing facility, loaders are required to lift all carry tires that weigh between 50 and 75 pounds. And they do this repeatedly over a 12 hour work period. On average, workers stack 714 tires in a 53 foot trailer. This tedious process may also include stooping, crawling and crouching, which requires the loaders to be very athletic. Also, the environmental conditions can be hot, or cold, dirty, greasy, wet, and noisy. Another major deficiency of the system is that it's, it's hard to establish a recommended weight limit for lifting. Most of the important parameters of, the, of this weight limit cannot be calculated accurately due to the various sizes and weight of the tires. Also, parameters such as frequency of multiplier, coupling multiplier, cannot be determined as well since the shifts are over eight hours. Our suggestion to improve this system would be to adopt the loading-unloading technique used by a tire company in Germany called Garonski. This company has invented an aluminum telescopic conveyor for loading and unloading tires. Garonski conveyor belts reduce loading and unloading times of on average 20 to 30 percent, thereby increasing their additive value. The transport of the tires over the belt and the height adjustable lifting platform reduce both the physical strain and risk of injury to the employees compared to a manual loading process such as Cooper Tire. In addition, the tires are also treated more gently because the tires do not collect dust by rolling or have reason to lose their labels. For ergonomic operation, the platform is driven down or up depending on the position of the tires inside the trailer. By implementing the Garonski unloading and loading technique, Cooper Tire will benefit in increased work efficiency, better working conditions, and keep energy expenditures within bounds. Adding lift tables to raise and lower workstation will provide a mechanical aid in moving the tires and reduce risk factors for loaders. If Cooper Tire employed the aluminum telescopic conveyors, the ergonomists would be able to recommend a weight limit for the lifting process. Thank you.